Look at the state of this sword, it is absolutely insane. It's a solar sword and it's like an absolute steam train. Absolutely smashes this GM Overload Champions. Look at the state of it, absolutely crazy. The sword itself is called the Throne Cleaver. It's a solar sword, it's got a massive impact of 80. It's an absolute beast, I rolled surrounded on there. Uh, this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. It's 46% damage increase when you're surrounded, which stacked with solar surges as well. And then what I did is I also put Tyler's Blade on there, so sword ammo granted for every other powered sword kill. Look at the state of what it can do once you've got that surrounded going. It absolutely rinses champions in lost sectors very, very easily. And like you saw in the clips, I've run this in a couple of GMs as well, and it does the same to GM champions also. But the problem is with it, we're going to need some healing. Now, I did a build on this channel not so long back. In fact, it was last week. It was a Phoenix Cradle build, and it was giving us infinite healing. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit more, and I'll also link the video for that as well as we go. But I just want to focus on the sword at the moment. Just look at the state of it. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely rinses him. I did a full build on this healing build, this Solar Titan healing build. I did it last week, I'll link that in the video description, but I'll just briefly go over the main sort of ingredients. Sol Invictus, Solar Ability Final Blows, and Hammer of Sol Impacts and Defeating Scorched Targets create sunspots. Your abilities re regenerate faster when you're sunning aside that sunspot, and it's also going to apply restoration. Now, one of the fragments that is absolutely crazy to run with this one is called Ember of Empyrean. Solar weapon ability final blows extend the duration of your restoration and your radiant. The sword is solar, so once you've got one of these sunspots going from either of your scorch abilities, you can just then infinitely just chain that restoration going all of the time with the solar sword or solar other weapons. But the sword, as you've seen, does some serious, serious damage, especially when you are surrounded. And then the problem is, obviously, while you are surrounded, you're going to be taking damage. That is why I run this particular build, the healing build. It's absolutely crazy. You'll see I've got that restoration going all of the time. For this build, you have to be really, really aggressive. It's not like a Laurelis build. I don't run Laurelis. I run an exotic called Phoenix Cradle. It's like a proactive version of Laurelis. You don't stand there to take damage. You'll go out there and deal damage and chain it a little bit like Devour. But the exotics are run at Phoenix Cradle because you're going to get all them sunspots, all the healing with Ember of Empyrean. But on top of that, your, Sol your Solid Victus is going to last twice as long. So 10 seconds, you're going to get loads and loads of ability regens, loads of grenades, loads of melees, loads of class ability for 10 seconds. That plus your healing, the Ember of Empyrean going, is absolutely crazy. So just going back to the Throne Cleaver itself, it has got some other rules on there, things like Unrelenting. And incandescent, they're really, really good rolls or vorpal, but I think surrounded just getting that massive damage increase. It is some of the other popular trait combos that people like to craft. This is courtesy of Light GG. I'll also link a link to that uh, section as well. Now the other thing I like to run on this build is consecration, the melee, and I also like to run in slide activate that melee. And what that does, that's basically giving you your restoration instantly. And that sets the little chain off, the little loop. Or you can always apply a firebolt. And once you've got something scorched, you kill them. And that's going to create that sunspot. And then once you've got that sunspot, you can just go ham with the sword and ember of Empyrean. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely try and get hold of this sword if you can. And if not, the build itself is absolutely insane. Phoenix Cradle build. I will leave the full build in the video description in case you want to see a more in-depth uh, video, like all the fragments, all my solar surges, etc. that I'm stacking to get even more damage on my solar weapons. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.